It's officially fall, and you know what that means? It's pumpkin season. For this week's meal prep, I'm gonna walk you through four of my favorite pumpkin-based and fall recipes. We're gonna start out by roasting some fall veggies. So I like to spice things up every week and use different vegetables, but this week we're using a delicata squash and butternut squash. I also diced up and threw in a Honeycrisp apple for good measure. I'll take any excuse to use some fresh rosemary, so I chopped that up and added it to our squashes for a little extra flavor. Other than that, I kept things really simple and used olive oil, salt, and pepper. You can definitely put everything in a large mixing bowl and kind of toss together your veggies, olive oil, and seasonings, but I didn't even feel like getting a bowl dirty today, so I just did everything right on the baking sheets. Once you coat everything in olive oil, salt, pepper, and the rosemary, just use your freshly washed hands and really rub all of that seasoning around onto your veggies. I personally like to use my hands to do this part because I feel like that's the best way to get everything fully coated. Transfer your veggies into a preheated oven and you're gonna roast those for about 20 to 25 minutes at 425. Make sure everything's nice and cool before you transfer it into your containers and close them up. Now let's move to one of my favorite recipes, which is my homemade pumpkin pasta sauce. We're gonna start by dicing our onion and freshly mincing our garlic. One of my top kitchen tips is to use freshly minced garlic whenever a recipe calls for it, rather than using like the jarred minced garlic, you will get such a better fresh flavor and it's definitely worth a couple of minutes that it'll take to mince the garlic. Next, you're gonna add the olive oil to a pan over medium low heat. Toss in the onion and the garlic and really mix everything together until they're really well coated in the olive oil. Let that cook for a couple of minutes until the onion's translucent and the garlic's fragrant, but don't let the garlic brown or burn. Add in the remaining ingredients and mix everything together really well. At this point, you can either use an immersion blender or let things cool a little bit and transfer to a traditional blender. Blend until you have a smooth and creamy sauce, and then we can pour it back into our pan and heat things up before adding it to our pasta. I do have this full recipe on my website, so just go to plantedinthekitchen.com and you can find it under pumpkin pasta sauce. Following our classic rule of thumb, we're going to let the pasta cool before transferring to our meal prep containers and closing it up. You can also store the sauce separately in a jar or container in the fridge and use it throughout the week, or you can freeze it. Next up is an easy fall breakfast recipe, pumpkin pie overnight oats. This is one of my favorite breakfast recipes. There are so many different variations and it takes just a couple of minutes to make. Just mix everything together in one container and you're good to go. Store it in the fridge and you have breakfast all week. And we've already made it to our final recipe of the day, pumpkin soup. I also have this full recipe on my website along with an easy to follow recipe card with all of your ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, just head over to my website, plantedinthekitchen.com and look for vegan pumpkin soup. You can store this soup in the fridge for up to five days or in the freezer for up to three months. Thanks for following along during my pumpkin meal prep. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more meal prep inspiration and easy recipes.